Good morning, everybody. As everyone knows, tragically, on September the 8th of this year, we lost K-9 Black. It was a huge hardship for our agency. K-9 Black was a partner to us, he was a co-worker, and he was also a community member. So many kids in schools enjoyed K-9 Black, uh, him coming to the schools, doing demonstrations. Our deputies, other allied law enforcement agencies, depended on him to be there as backup and also scanning vehicles for narcotics and also doing the scans in our schools. He's definitely missed. But with this, we must look uh, into a replacement of a canine. Currently, we have um, canine Spike, canine Bella, canine Zora, and canine Drake, all working with deputies out there in the community. One of the importance of these canines is we're all battling the heroin and opiate epidemic within our community, across our state, and across our nation. This is a tool and a resource that we need within our community, and we have some help in getting a replacement for canine black. Although black will never be replaced within our agency as black, we will be replacing him and adding a new partner to help our deputies and help our community deal with the epidemics that are out there. If possible, I'd like to bring up uh, Deputy Ahern, who's going to talk about Black's legacy. Thank you, Sheriff. <clears throat> Canine Black and I went into service on October 8, 2014. Um, during that time, he was the only canine that we had. Since then, Sheriff Hoffman has expanded the program a lot. During Black's three years um, that he was working here, he conducted 235 drug scans and he assisted in 148 arrests for CDS violations. K-9 Black also recovered $15,405 in um, asset drug money and he seized nine vehicles. He was extremely successful in what he did. Um, he was definitely not your typical patrol dog is what most people think. He was extremely friendly. He loved the community. We spent a lot of time with kids at preschools and just conducting community um, events. Um, <clears throat> his law storing in September was um, extremely hard on me. I know it was hard on the office. Um, so I look forward to moving on and starting with um, the next one. Thank you. If I could have uh, JC Richardson come up and JC is gonna talk to us about the training and the vetting that these dogs go through. It's pretty rigorous. JC. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Thank you, Sheriff, and uh, major for having me up here. My name is J.C. Richardson from Delmarva Canine. We're honored to be a part of uh, this process. It's truly, uh, it's truly unique and it's truly amazing to us. The rigorous process that we go through just for selection alone is absolutely uh, detail-oriented. We're looking for specific dogs, not only for what we need them to do, for what we're trying to go for, drugs and patrol, but we're also looking for a dog that we need to match with a handler. Because just like everything else, that's really, really important that we have the dog suited with the handler. Then once we, uh, once we find that perfect dog, we bring them back here and we start the training. The training usually lasts three to four months. They're extremely green when we bring them in. Uh, we we bring, fly them overseas, they come into Dulles Airport. We, uh, we import them from our certain vendors we use across, across the world. Um, and then we go through and we start the whole process of making them and helping them to find drugs. We create that process. We, uh, then we make them street worthy so that they will protect Chris at all costs and that they will track any missing kids. The, the process is extremely rigorous and it's, um, well, it's time consuming, truly time consuming. But at the end of the day, it, it's truly a product that you just, you, you hang your hat on and you truly love. Thank you, guys. I would like to take and welcome um, two of our special guests that are here today and a partnership that we've formed with the National Police Defense Foundation. I'd like to bring up Carl Milligan and Joe Acapinti to make a presentation. For, on behalf of the 205,000 members and supporters of the National Police, Defense Foundation, we want to say our deepest regrets and condolences on the loss of your dog. The National Police Defense Foundation established in 1995 the Safe Cop Program. We were outraged of the serious increases 
of armed assaults on our police. As it turns out, statistics show that trained canine police dogs are often the target of the same armed assaults. They go into very dangerous missions, and we've noticed an increase in not only the importance of what they're doing, but they are becoming the victims in a war on crime. When we learned about the loss of K-9 officer Trek, uh, we knew it was important to the department that they get a replacement dog. And after uh, being told of this by my delegate, chief delegate out of Washington, Carl Milligan, uh, we thought it would be fitting to present a $5,000 check toward the purchase of the next dog. And with that in mind, Chief, I would like to present to you this check. And uh, again, Thank our you. deepest condolences, and we hope. Thank you, sir, very much. The new dog will not only replace, but continue in his endeavors and in his memory. Thank you. Can I get you down here to wear a bite suit when we get the new dog? Absolutely. <laughs> so thank you very much for all that you guys have done. I really appreciate that. No problem. I have to turn this over to my treasurer. <laughs> so. I want to take this time also to thank all the other donors as well. We've had a few um, unsolicited donators send in a few uh, few small checks, everything adds up and we really appreciate all these unsolicited donations. This dog, this tool, and I hate to use the word tool, this partner to our, us in law enforcement is being funded at no cost to the citizens of the county. It's being done with donations we've received and also assets and things that were seized by the Queen Anne's County Drug Task Force, which is comprised of Maryland State Police, Centerville Police, the Sheriff's Office, Natural Resources Police and other allied agencies as well. They're actually gonna be funding the balance of this dog for us. And we really appreciate that. Without their help and without the support of the community, we couldn't be providing this great uh, resource that's really gonna help us out. We're saddened by the loss of Black, but we're excited about the new endeavor and we appreciate you guys for your assistance uh, on bringing our new dog on board. So I'd like to turn it over this time to uh, Tyler Patton real quick. We have time for a few questions. Anybody ask questions? Probably the most important question is you've picked out a name yet. I'm going to defer that to uh, <laughs> JC and DFC Ahern. Um, That's Mr. Ahern. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. It's one of those things that you kind of got to see him or her before the name comes along. That, that's all you got? <laughs> Perfect. Thank you all very much for coming out. I'll hand out press releases and we appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you all.